Now, during lockdown, many of us are passing our time online and lots of musicians are entertaining us yeah. and keeping us going during the lockdown Cheers. by performing live gigs while also raising funds to help those affected most in the COVID crisis, among them the Snow Patrol frontman, Gary Lightbody. I love the line delay, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I just ignored Reg. He's a good yeah, guy, though. He's just talked over the top it's of the fine, totally fine. Uh, Gary Lightbody is in lockdown in LA at the moment, and to keep fans across the world entertained, he started something called the Saturday Songwrite on Instagram. Chris and I got a chat with him just before we came on air this morning. How have you been finding it, Gary, performing from your front room? I'm wondering if there's any kind of nerves in performing to millions, but in your own house. Well, it's certainly not millions. Um, <laughs> I suppose it is a bit nerve-wracking before we start. Um, you know, I, I go on most days and do a song or two, and then on Thursdays mm -hmm. I do a gig. Um, uh, on, you know, last couple of weeks I've done a gig on Facebook as well as Instagram. But, um, and then on Saturdays I'm doing a thing called the Saturday Song Rights, which is basically I just go on Instagram at uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, yeah. Um, sort of local time there, uh, and uh, I write a song with all the people that are on Instagram, um, basically, you know, and it's been really fun. Um, we've done it for five weeks now, and written five songs. In this distance no more, you're so far from me, on the edge of all the new world you see, I can hear five weeks to get an album and then to be out fight and the money from it will go to charity so it's, it, you know, it's like, it feels like it's created a kind of a collective which is really lots of people are you know the people that have been involved in it uh, so we comment that everybody's really enjoying it and really enjoying kind of seeing sort of I, I don't know if I write songs the way everyone else writes songs I think I probably mm -hmm. do um, and, and I certainly don't have any special way to do it. It's um, probably very, a very rudimental way to do it. I've been probably doing it the same way for 25 years. But, um, <laughs> but it's, uh, I, I guess it's, um, I guess people get to see how, how it's kind of, you know, songs are kind of created uh, in a way. And it's, um, it's, it's very fun for people that haven't seen that before. What, what way does that work in that collaborative process? How, how are you doing that? And, and can anybody get involved in that kind of Saturday session? Oh yeah, yeah. You just go on Instagram Live at eight o'clock on Saturday, and, um, and and basically I start by uh, asking for court. So basically, I've just kept this to like, but they give me a letter between A and G, and then everybody, I just everyone gives me individual <laughs> letters. I take the first, I take the first four letters that I see, and I for, I, I use that to create a, a, a you know a, a chord pattern, and then I do a melody. And then I do that four times in a row, and then the, the everybody on Instagram votes on which one of the four is the is the one they want to turn into a song. And then um, and then I ask for lyrics. And basically every most weeks, I haven't. There's been a couple of weeks where we've had a theme, but most weeks it's just whatever's on people's minds. Um, which you know, I mean, you can you can sort of guess what the you know a lot of the come up like, you know week to week. But that's Gary Lightbody speaking there to us live from L.A. earlier on this morning. Um, it's quite a thing, actually, isn't it, Sarah? Like, to, to basically just bring people on and create a song. It shows an amazing amount of talent. It really does. And just listening to that tune, yeah, it's just one he sort of knocked out in an <laughs> afternoon. It, it, could be, it could be a hit. It sounds like a hit already. And he's one of those people that just has that fabulously effortless voice. Um, just, just outstandingly talented. It was lovely to talk to him, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Talking of fabulously effortless voices, here's Chelsea.